Hello guys! Hello mga kamatters! I am your teacher for this morning, Sir Johnny Olorbida, and welcome to my first video lesson. Lowest term of fractions, lowest term of fractions, proper and improper fractions. Let us continue. Proper fraction is a fraction wherein the numerator is less than the, de the denominator. As you can see, mas mababa ang kanilang numerator like 1, 4, 3, 9, 2 pips, and 2, 6. Fraction is in lowest term or simplest form when its numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. Simplest form, a fraction is in simplest form when the numerator and the denominator are as small as they can be. Let us take this example. Two-fourths will become one-half. Eight-tenths can be renamed as four-pips. And twenty-one-thirtieth can be expressed in lowest term as seven-tenths. Let us explore. Determine whether the following fraction is in lowest term or simplest form or not. Just type lowest term in our comment section or not. Are you ready? Let us begin. 1 8. Is this in lowest term or not? What do you think? Comment your answer. Very good! It is in lowest term because the numerator is already 1 or it is also called a unit fraction. So, ibig sabihin, any fractions na ang numerator 1 ay unit fraction and it is already in lowest term. Can you name some example of unit fraction? Nice! That's correct. One-third, one-fifth, one-twenty-fifth, and one-one-hundred are example of unit fraction. Next, five-seven. Is this a lowest term or not? Good job! Five-seven is also lowest term because the numerator and denominator are both prime numbers. So what are pro prime numbers? Prime numbers are the numbers that have only two only two what? Only two factors. Yes. Only two factors. The factors of 5 is 1 times 5 and the factors of 7 is 1 times 7. So, can you name some fractions which are uh, in lowest term using the prime numbers? Very good. 2 pips, 3 7, 11 13, 17 19, 2 7, 3 pips, 5 11, 7 11 are all in lowest term. So, these are the prime numbers. The 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, and so on. So if this, uh, if the fraction consists of this, the numerator and denominator having prime numbers, the fraction can be called as lowest term. Next, 14, 15. What do you think? Lowest term or not? Yes! It is in lowest term because the numerator and denominator are consecutive numbers. Ibig sabihin, magkasunod yung numbers 14 and 15. Let us have some examples. Two-thirds, three-fourths, four-fifths, five-sixths, six-sevenths, eight-ninths, twenty-three, twenty-fourth, forty-four, forty-fifth, and fifty-six, fifty-seven are lowest terms. Those are examples of fractions in lowest term because the numerator and denominator are consecutive numbers. How about this? 914. What do you think? Yes. 
This is also in lowest term because the numerator and denominator have no common factor other than 1. Because the factors of 9 is 1 times 9 and the factors of 14 is R, 1, and 14. So the common factor is only 1. How about this? 7, 14. Lowest term or not? Mm hmm Are you sure? Okay. It is not in lowest term because the numerator and denominator have common factor. The common factor is 7. The factors of 7 is 1 and 7. 1 times 7 is 7. The factors of 14 are 1 times 14 and 2 times 7. So meaning they have the common factor which is 7. So this is not yet in lowest term. So you should express your answer in lowest term. So you are going to divide it by 7 to know the lowest term of 7, 14. 714 is not in lowest term because the numerator and denominator have common factor which is 7. So if we are going to express 714 to lowest term, we are going to get the common factor or the greatest common factor which is 7 and divide it both in numerator and denominator. 7 divided 7 is 1, 14 divided 7 is 2. So our final answer is one half or we can express 714 as one half so that will be your final answer one half okay let us express the following fraction in simplest form it is your turn to, to express the fraction in simplest form let us express 921 into lowest term so the first thing that you are going to do is to get the greatest common factor or the common factor of 9 and 21. What is the common factor of 9 and 21? Or the greatest common factor of 9 and 21? Very good. The GCF of 9 and 21 is 3. So we are going to divide 9 divided by 3 and 21 divided by 3. And our, our answer will be 3, 7. The lowest term of 9, 21 is 3, 7. Okay, nahokuwa? Okay, ayan. Very good. Let us have another example. How about this? 8, 24. How are you going to express this in lowest term? Yes, we are going to get the greatest common factor or any number na pwede nyong i-divide both 8 and 24. Ano yung number na pwede nyong i-divide both in 8 and 24? Yes, that is correct. 8. 8 is the number that you are going to divide to 8, 24. So if we are going to divide 8 divided by 8, what is the answer? 24 divided by 8, what is the answer? And very good. So our answer is one third. Okay, do you get the lesson? Next, let us proceed. 1220, express it in lowest term. Okay, minahakakuwa na, very good. So the GCF will be... Four. That is the GCF and we are going to divide four both in numerator and denominator. Twelve divided by four. What is the answer? Yes. And twenty divided by four. The answer is? And you're correct. Our answer is three-fifths. You're doing a good job. That's all for the proper fraction. So I hope na alam nyo na uh, uh, kung paano we express in lowest term ang ating mga proper fraction. So let us go with our second topic, improper 
fraction. How are we going to express improper fraction to lowest term? But before that, what is an improper fraction? A fraction that equals or more than 1 and has a larger numerator at the top number and then the denominator the bottom number. The examples are 4 thirds, 11 fourths, 7 halves, 15 sixths. So, as you can see, the numerator, uh, the numerators are greater than the denominator. So, those are example of improper fraction. How are we going to express improper fraction to lowest term or convert improper fraction to mixed number? The answer, to convert an improper fraction to mixed number or to mixed fraction, we, we are going to divide the numerator by the denominator, write down the quotient as the whole number and the remainder as the numerator on top of the same denominator. Let us try this number, 7 fourths. Let us express this in lowest term or let us translate this fraction to, in, uh, to mixed number. Okay, what are we going to do? So we are going to divide 7 and 4. If we divided 7 and 4, 7 will become the dividend. 4 will become the divisor. So 7 divided by 4 is 1. That is the quotient. And 1 times 4 is 4. 7 minus 4 is 3. So 3 is our remainder. So the answer is 1 and 3 fourths. So 1 is the quotient. 3 is the remainder, the numerator. And copy the same denominator. Use the same denominator. Do you get it? Okay, let us take a look for another example. 13 fourths. So how are we going to express in mixed number? Yes, you are correct. We are going to divide the number, the numerator, and the denominator. 13 divided by 4. And 13 divided by 4 is 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. So our answer is 3 and 1 fourth. Okay, nice. Good job. Okay, it's your turn. I am going to give you a minute to, exp to answer the following. Express the following fraction in simplest form or lowest term. You can get your notebooks and try to answer the following. Let us express for its 10, 15, 8, 12, 9 fifths, and 8 fourths in lowest term. Are you ready? Okay, timer starts now. Okay. Very good. You got it all correct. So, one half is the answer in number one, two thirds in number two two-thirds in number three, and one and four pips in number four. And number five, the answer is two. Okay, you can comment your uh, score. Who got five? I hope na nakawa din yung ating lesson for this morning. Okay. So let us have our reflection. Type, comment, letter A, if you understand the lesson well. B, if you're still confused, and C, if you don't understand the lesson. So, you can type your questions down below para mabasa natin. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Again, I am your teacher for this day. Good day mga taga and see you for our next video. Bye everyone!